Hey there, Angular folks. It's Brian, back again with yet another Angular CDK tutorial. Ever built a list in Angular and thought, it'd be awesome if I could just drag these around to reorder them? Well, what if I told you you can, and it's ridiculously easy? In this tutorial, we'll add drag to reorder functionality to a to-do list using Angular CDK. No additional complexity, just clean, modern Angular. All right, let's get started. Here's our little app. It's a very simple to-do list. We can check and uncheck items. And as we do, the remaining count updates right here in the header. That's powered by a signal. So Angular updates the DOM automatically when the value changes. Now, it looks like you could drag these items around. I mean, it even has the little grip icon and we get the grabber cursor when hovering. But if I try to move one, nothing happens. Not yet anyway. So this is what we're going to fix in this tutorial. But first, let's look at the existing code to better understand what we need to add. All right, let's open the HTML template for this component. At the top here, we've got this header showing the total task count and remaining count. This is the content that we see above the list. Then we've got our actual list of to-dos. It's a for loop that stamps out a list item and some markup for each of the to-do items in the array. This is the part we're going to make draggable so we can reorder it. Now, let's look at the TypeScript for this component. Here we have our to-do signal. It's just a simple array of to-do objects. Below that, we've got our remaining count computed signal, which filters out the done items whenever the to-do signal changes. And finally, we have the toggle function, which flips each item's done property when we click the checkbox. So this app is pretty clean, reactive, and modern. But right now, the order of the list is static, and that's what we're about to fix. The Angular CDK gives us a ton of low-level utilities. Things like accessibility helpers, overlays, and, in our case, drag and drop. But before we can use it, we need to install it. To do so, we just need to run this command from within the root of our Angular app. And that's all the setup we need. Now we can start using CDK directives right inside our component. Let's switch back over to our component TypeScript. For this example, we'll be using two directives from the CDK drag and drop module, so we need to import them. First, we need to import the CDK drop list. Next, we need to import the CDK drag directive. This makes these directives usable in the template, so now we can switch over and make our list droppable and each item draggable. The first thing we need to do is add the drop list directive to the list. This turns the element into a drop zone, basically a container that manages draggable items inside it. Once we have this directive in place, we can use the CDK drop list dropped event to react to when items are dragged and then dropped. This fires with a custom event whenever a drag operation finishes. In this case, we'll call a drop function, which we'll create in just a minute, and we'll pass along the custom event. Next, let's make each to-do draggable. Each li represents one to-do. So right here, we'll add the CDK drag directive. That's it. This single attribute allows Angular to track and drag that element. You don't even need to specify a handle. The entire item is draggable by default. But since we've got that fancy little grip icon on the right, you could turn that into a handle later if you want. OK, now let's switch back over to the TypeScript. Here, we need to add our drop function. This function takes one parameter, the event that's emitted when the drag ends. In this case, it's a special type of event. It's a CDK drag drop event. Now, inside, we'll update our todos signal. First, we'll use a variable to store a copy of the list. We do this so we're not mutating the existing array directly, 
signals in Angular Detect changes best when we create a new reference. Think of this as cloning the list before shuffling it around. Now we can use a special function from the CDK drag and drop module, move item in array. This function takes care of the reordering for us using the list and the previous and current index from the event. It literally moves the item in the array from where it started to where it ended. You don't have to write any index juggling or splice logic yourself. Then we just return the new array. And that's it. Our drop function is now complete. Let's save everything and try it out. Now when we click and drag one of these tasks, look at that. It moves smoothly and when we drop it, Angular re-renders the list in the new order. It's really that easy. We added drag to reorder functionality with literally one helper and two directives. That's a pretty great trade-off. Now, right now, it works great, but it's not super clear what's happening while we drag. But good news, we can fix that with a couple of tiny style tweaks. Let's open up the style sheet for this component. Here, we'll use a couple of special classes that get added automatically by the CDK directives. First, we'll add the CDK drag preview class. This class is added to the item we're dragging. So these styles will apply to the floating version of the item that follows our mouse when we drag it. This will make it stand out from the list and adds a little drop shadow for depth. Next, let's add the CDK drag placeholder class. This class is added to the space where the item will land. The purpose is to show exactly where the item will drop. And yes, it's bright yellow on purpose. We're going for maximum clarity here, not subtlety. Okay, now let's save and try it again. When we drag now, notice the preview follows our mouse with a dark background and the yellow placeholder marks the drop position. It's so much easier to see what's happening. So that's it. We added drag to reorder to a to-do list using Angular's CDK. We first installed the CDK. Then we added the drop list and drag directives. We handled the list dropped event. We used the move item in array function to reorder our list data. And we finished with a couple of visual cues for drag feedback. You can take this same approach to reorder anything. Cards in a Kanban board, rows in a table, or playlists in a music app. If you found this useful, give it a like, subscribe for more quick Angular tips, and maybe even reorder your to-do list to watch Brian's next video at the top. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.